I'm here to rescue the survivors from Stockton's caravan. I can't let you do that. This ain't personal. The missions must be... The missions must be... I just came from Covenant. They said I should come here. If Jacob gave anyone permission, I would know about it. This ain't personal. The mission's mine. Can't see! What the? Hey, Dan. Just what the hell are they doing down here? Yeah, stay gone. Who? No sign of the caravan yet. They've got to be holding them someplace. What the hell are they doing here anyway? Open it from this end. I don't like this chained up here. Plenty sorry. of opportunities for an ambush. The missions must be protected.
himself somewhere. I feel it in my gut. Stockton's people were here. life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. Stockton's daughter is a synth? Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing, we have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy, to be sure. I'll give you a fair hearing. How considerate. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something?
What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations, the Synths. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden synths, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improved. And the safe test works? Oh, yes. Autopsies confirm the test is getting more accurate. There's something in the questions which provokes a response from synth. But the exact trigger is elusive. The margin of error is admittedly high, four or five false positives per synth. But one day, we hope to get it to one or two false positives. It sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured it. We just need more data, more test subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton Synth and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. I've had my fill of crazy on this contract. No deal. Fortunate for me, I wasn't talking to you. You side with this nut job, and we're going to have a serious, deadly problem. Are you threatening me, Dan? I have myself a code. That's not always good on my wallet, but it helps me sleep at night. I took this contract, and I will honor it, even if I have to kill you to do it. Wait. Covenant's a refuge? Over the years, we've recruited like-minded individuals, all of our lives shattered by the Institute. Covenant is primarily about administering and refining the safe test, but some Consider the humanitarian side equally as important. If you destroy what's left here, their lives will be upended again. Don't kill the girl. Spare her. Impossible. The odds are too great she's an Institute infiltrator. Even if she is an unfortunate victim in this war, sparing her can compromise everything. Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me.
you ever so much. I thought I'd never get out of there. I thought I'd never get out of there. Dr. Chambers. Everything I've done has been for the greater good. I will not beg for my life. Hey, Dan. So Stockton gets his daughter and we get paid. Not a bad day. What if she's a synth? If even after all they've done to her, they don't know if she's a synth or not? I figure she's human enough. Here's your cut of the reward. I'll get my half from Stockton. Been a pleasure. You holding out on me? They call me Honest Dan for a reason. That's exactly half of what Stockton agreed to pay me. Not one cap more, not one cap less. Be safe, Dan. Same to you. Hey, Dan. Time for some R&R. &R. Hey, Dan. Another day, another job well done. Hey, Dan. Time for some R&R. &R. Hey, Dan. Time for some R&R. &R. Don't scare the fish, asshole.
chairs out of cinder blocks pretty easily. Hi. Ah, a new customer. Welcome to Max Bar. We are currently open for business. Please excuse the mess. Nice location. Thank you kindly. Picked the place myself. Plenty of room for expansion in an up-and-coming neighborhood at an unbeatable price. Anyway, what'll it be? What do you have for sale? A wide and varied supply of spirits and sodas. And maybe a snack or two, if you're feeling peckish. Let's see what you have. Pick your poison. Sweet. <laughs> 